we actually are called the Parliament Watch Italy, but we started operating <laughs> in, operating in Sicily. Uh, well, uh, it is a civil society organization that uh, is, specially, is specially focused on the local transition uh, of, um, towards open government. And uh, we try to involve municipalities in uh, uh, doing open government practices, starting with uh, the monitoring public procurement, transparency of procurement data, we advocate nationally for a better standard uh, towards open contracting that data standard. We organized, uh, we made the entering in the um, OGP local process, the first Italian municipality, first and only actually, the city of Palermo, and we organized the forum, uh, the, the open local open government forum over there in order to make the plans and commitments etc but now i will focus on uh, uh, just uh, uh, one of the most alive in this moment project that we have which is spendiamo insieme it is uh, uh, about the our advocacy for a more transparent and better spending of the participatory budget funds in sicily uh, as you can see, uh, when we faced this problem, there was this uh, um, zero information landscape. Uh, there is uh, a law that uh, say that municipalities have to spend 2% of the regional transfers to municipality involving citizens. And uh, we try to collect uh, literally with our hands, uh, looking in all the municipality, three, 391 municipality websites, all the evidence of uh, what they were doing, and we mesh up all this data, making this uh, site, uh, let's spend it good, dot .it, spendiamoli, let's spend it together, dot .it. Um, you can monitor it, you can monitor for every municipality, um, every year of the law's implementation, some data. I will hand it to Giuseppe for uh, an overview. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, basically it was this zero landscape scenario. I mean, the, 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 the Sicilian region didn't give any information about the law, just numbers, uh, just uh, late numbers, because for example, we had Official information about the spending in 2018 only in late October 2022, so three, year, three years later. And talking about impact, um, after these data released by the region, uh, there was a lot of rage in, in our region because citizens understood that their municipality didn't spend uh, the money allocated for citizen engagement, for citizen participation. And we had a press release in last week uh, telling people that they uh, could get information on 2022, not just, uh, you know, uh, be, uh, be, 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 be get paid for what happened three years ago. And after this press release, we had a thousand of visits on our website. And this means that Sicilian people understood that now they get, can get information in real time about how uh, this money is spent. It's not a, a, a lot of money. I mean, it's for millions of euro every year, uh, but we have 400 municipalities in Sicily, so we have small municipality with, with, with very small budget, but you know, I think we share the opinion that it's not about the money. It's not only about the money, but it's more about the process. It's more about how municipality involve people uh, in, in participatory budgeting. Well, uh, uh, another strand uh, line of activities with this information is not only to make aware the Sicilian citizen that they can use these funds because nobody knew this law before, uh, or very few person. Uh, so we present, and this is like a gossip about the um, participatory democracy in your town. Uh, let's <laughs> let's see with that what happened. 
but uh, also that we reached uh, uh, La Sicilia, which is the main regional newspaper that use uh, uh, periodically our data to make assessment of this uh, situation, uh, speaking about the lost occasion of the participatory democracy in Sicily. And um, we, are, we reached also the regional parliament. We were like uh, at the parliament referring on how the law is not functioning and they asked us, uh, so tell us what, what to do. And we are making this policy lab with citizens and local public public local local public officials to understand how to make a unique test of this fragmented uh, um, legal framework to make a, a better law. So I think this is it about the pandemics. Uh, it's not the pandemics that really affected us. Is the Ukraine crisis? Uh, because all the uh, discussion we had with donors in this moment are stuck. Uh, we, they don't say yes, we'll continue. They don't say no, we will not continue. It's just uh, stuck and it's during uh, the, uh, the last uh, six months and it becomes every month uh, more difficult to manage uh, with the situation. Thank you.